Hi everybody, welcome to day three of our five day sneak peek into what Beachbody coaching entails. Uh, today I want to talk to you about social media and how to grow your business through social media. So <laughs> social media is a gift for us, especially within the Beachbody business. Um, it allows us to access and communicate with hundreds of people um, if you want in a day, that's a lot of effort, but hundreds of people in a much more efficient and fast time than if you were to go door to door or make phone calls or even to um, shoot texts off. So social media is such a blessing for us. It allows us to have a wider audience, share our story, and hopefully inspire more people and a wider variety of people. So the beauty of um, your Beachbody business is that it is yours. So you can run it however you want to run it. It's yours to do it. There's no right or wrong way. Um, honestly, it, it's your baby. So you go with it with whatever you feel and you put your own spin on it and, and make it you. Because at the end of the day, people will buy into you far, far before they buy into any product that you're advocating. Um, so social media is my... Um, way to grow this business. I mean, if you're more comfortable with human to human contact, by all means, that can be your way. I'm super busy. Um, I work multiple jobs and I'm always on the go. And for me, social media allows me to work it on my schedule and still keep my um, family time and my personal time that everybody needs. Otherwise you go crazy. So social media for me, predominantly my Facebook page and um, Instagram, those are the two that I use currently. Those are my outlets for working my business. And they're working great for me so far, if I can say so. Um, I will say that once you sign up as a coach, we have a month-long intensive new coach training that teaches you everything. It teaches you how to invite to your first challenge group, how to um, run a challenge group with uh, scripts and templates and how to send a link for somebody to order through you. Um, all that information is handed to you in a training. So it's definitely not a reinvent the wheel business, but it's definitely a take it, run with it, and make it your own business, which is awesome because it's women and men, but predominantly women, empowering women to be the best version of themselves and help others to do the same. Um, how I've used social media to grow my Beachbody business is nothing fancy. I have literally just shared me. Um, I started in February and I think I had like 300 friends on Facebook and I had just done the whole thing where you go and delete and clear through and try and privatize yourself. My last name wasn't even my real last name because when you go into education, they tell you you should change it because God forbid somebody see a picture of me doing something that's not Catholic school appropriate. Anyways, so I changed my name. I have 300 friends on Facebook, which is like nothing. Half of it was probably family members because I have a huge family. And um, that's legit. If you're Ukrainian, you know. And I was starting from scratch. I wasn't somebody to post all the time. I posted like, I don't know, one one time a day, maybe. Um, every couple days. I usually just like scroll and look for cool articles and that kind of thing. And my Instagram account was just my personal account. And I just posted cool pictures that I liked of my life. So nothing fancy at all. Um, so when I started my Beachbody business, I just started sharing me. I shared my... Um, initial transformation for my 21 day fix people loved it the amount of love and support that I received from sharing that was incredible it was so incredible and was it scary to post it yeah it was freaky I posted a picture of myself at my most uncomfortable state in a bikini on Facebook for the world to see and now they own that picture like it was freaky but guess what I'm so glad I did it because that inspired so many other people to be like hey what are you doing can I join too and now those people have had awesome results and they've helped other people have awesome results. And it's just this trickle effect of sharing and caring, really. Like, that's what it is. Um, I just, I opened up about my strengths, about my weaknesses. Um, when I have a bad day, I would turn it into something positive. I share tips and it's just, it just snowballs from there. Like, it's really 
This business is um, hugely about momentum and hugely about consistency. And it, it just, um, it's crazy. It's really crazy to see uh, how it works. It's really wonderful. Um, so something to talk about is, um, you're probably thinking, well, okay, I have, um, whatever. Say I have 200 friends on Facebook and what happens when I ask everybody that I know if they want to join my challenge group and they all say no, or I run through my contacts and then what do I do? Well, that's considered your warm market. So your warm market is people like your friends, your family, colleagues, um, uh, people you went to university with, people you went to high school with, people from a church group or soccer league or um, beer, volleyball league, whatever. It's just, that's your warm market of acquaintances, friends, family, that kind of thing. And I would say that I'm still seven months in, I'm still continuing in my warm market. However, it is important to build up your cold market because once you um, run through those people and some people take a few months to say yes and some people it's not for them and for the most part people say yes so they've already done it. It, you run out so you have to find a cold market so you can uh, branch your network further so a way to add your uh, add people to your um, visibility I suppose to get yourself out there and network further is to start adding one to three new friends every day so don't go crazy because you'll go to Facebook jail seriously don't add 20 friends every single day but go through and creep on people's Facebook is for creeping creep on people's profiles and see if it would be a good fit for them, would Beachbody be an awesome um, avenue for this person? And honestly, nine times out of 10, it is awesome because, hey, this person looks like they need to, or has posted stuff about living a healthier lifestyle, or they're like, I wanna lose 10 pounds, I wanna train for this marathon, I wanna do this. Sweet, the physical aspect of it would greatly help them. What about, oh, I can't believe I have this loan to pay off great. The financial side would greatly help them. Or, oh, I can't believe my friends ditched me tonight. I don't know if anybody would post that, but you get what I'm saying. Guess what? The friendships and just love and empowerment you get from the community, the Beachbody community and coaching community is insane. It is so fabulous. So I just went on a huge tangent there, but the point of it is that you run out of your, your warm market and that's totally fine. It's not something to be scared of. Facebook has thousands of new users joining every single day like you are on you're literally unlimited the internet is an amazing place and it's like everybody their dog and their dog's puppy and the puppy's best friend that's a baby is on Facebook right now it's crazy um and if you're thinking I'm I'm nervous I'm scared I don't want to post I want to flip it I want you to think um, about how you feel right now. How has Beachbody made you feel? How has it imparted value in your life? You just have to think, um, do my friends and family deserve to feel as awesome as I do? Do they deserve to have this opportunity in their lives to decide to do with it as they wish? Do they deserve to feel this incredible and to take control over their lives again? And I think if you answer yes, then I mean, you need to share, right? You just gotta, you gotta suck it up, buttercup, and you gotta just go on and share your life. People are genuinely, uh, genuinely interested in you. They, they want to see you. So share who you are. And I mean, you have to do some work, yes, but they come to you because people care about that. So I just wanna wrap up. I, I hope that I've given you some more information on how to use social media, uh, to grow your network. I will say something that a lot of new coaches try and do is they try and use all of the avenues. They try and use um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, a blog, all these things. My best advice, use one or two and be great at them. I mean, I use my personal page and I have a Facebook like page. So I try to post on both of those. I use a wellness page on Instagram and I'm now currently like seven months in thinking about starting a blog mostly for recipes and stuff, but it's take one or two and run with them. I would never start up a Twitter because I haven't, I think the last time I used Twitter was in grade nine and I posted like three things and I didn't understand how to use it. So I just wouldn't use it. Right. So to each their own and find the one that works best for you and utilize it because I mean, social media is an incredible tool for us in this business and it's there to be used. Hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to seeing your shares.